Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pikmin 2. Last time in the Valley of Repose, went to the Frontier Cavern, wiped it out, finished off Empress Bull Blacks for the second time, along with her gross, creepy babies. And today we're gonna go back to the Valley of Repose and finish what we started. One final cave to do, and then this area will be a wrap. If you enjoy finishing off areas that are long and hard, consider liking the video, commenting, and subscribing. Today's cave will be the final cave that I will be showing in its entirety in one episode. This cave is, as stated before, I think as long or a little bit longer than the Frontier Cavern, and so of course it will take a while. And so this is the last time that I'm going to be able to do a cave in one shot. The final area caves are all too long to really be manageable in an episode. I try to keep these, you know, I, I would rather these episodes be closer to a half an hour. 45 at the most, but having anything over an hour is kind of a no-no for me, so it is what it is. But anyway, now that we've got 25 of every type of Pikmin except for blues, not a ton of water hazards in the final area of this cave. We're going to go ahead and just get uh, 25 of everything else. You might be noticing that I do have a substantially large portion of all Pikmin now. I was able to go and off-screen grind a couple times. Grind. And um, in doing so, that allowed me to completely flesh out my squad of Pikmin. So everybody should be flowered now. I just drug them over the nectar twice. So if they're not, I will uh, be mildly furious. All the enemies in this area have respawned, as you can see. So we are going to have to be very careful. Very, very careful. And... Um, I'm just trying to kind of sneak into the cave. We don't really want to cause any trouble here. We're not up to no good anymore. So the armored cannon beetles are back, unfortunately. And to try to get through this area quickly without a ton of casualties, we're going to probably wind up using our sprays. Got a good amount of spicy and bitter spray now, thanks to my spelunking. And also I grew some berries, so pretty handy. Let's go ahead and get the purples to the front of the line and ready to go. Just kidding, the game would rather uh, disobey me and just give me whites after purples. That makes sense, okay. So we're gonna actually get a, um, we're actually gonna petrify that cannon beetle because I don't want to deal with it. There is a watery blowhog here, which, oh, that's not the right kind of pick one I wanted don't want this, but I do want to attack you. If you could stop trying to drown my Pikmin. Thank you. Okay, good. So far, so good. Nope, no, no, no. Quit. Stop. No. All right, let's just get these out of the way. I'm not actually going to use them in any manner, but they're distracting my Pikmin who are needing to get back to work. All right, here we go. Final cave of the Valley of Repose. We are now 16 episodes in, I think, and I still don't know what repose means. All right, Inter interesting, my metal detectors are reacting violently. Okay, so there's some sort of machine below? That's a hint about the final boss of this area. The final boss of this area, uh, for lack of a better word, is ridiculous. So just prepare yourselves, enjoy. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the subterranean complex, the final dungeon of the Valley of Repose. And I don't know why this one in particular is called the subterranean complex because if you want to think about it and be uh, pedantic like I am, every cave technically is a subterranean complex. They're all underground. So I don't know where they're getting that crazy idea from, but it is what it is. You're going to want to start out using your poison Pikmin, your white Pikmin here, of course. There's a lot of poison in here. There's also what the game deems to be a buried treasure. I don't really know why it's called that. I don't think that it really is, but you'll need them here in just a moment. First, we've got up to bat, the hairy bull blacks, dead, and it's dwarf baby bull blacks, bull borb cousins. What are we doing here? There we go, okay. We're just gonna try to move through this area quick because the cave is very long and hard and not very, it's not full of anything watery, so you got that going for you. 
Man, I just love purple Pikmin. It is so fun just to crush the uh, little baby bulborbs. I'm assuming... No, 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 stop it. Stop it, quit. It's probably meant to be like that, but we need uh, white Pikmin now. They can pop in here. Just over here in this area. You can have them all work together. If you remember, stop it, quit. These these swooping uh, Captain Snitch Bugs, they kind of remind me of, um, of something from like Twilight Princess, like kind of like a gross, a gross enemy like that. But there's Treasure One already in our grasp. Very good. The Nouveau Table. That's French for new table? I don't know. Yeah, go ahead and have them dogpile on this thing. Knock it out. And then get your white Pikmin again. At least to clear the poison spout out. You don't want to get any other Pikmin. All sick like that. Have them take it out. And then, for some reason, the game considers this a semi-buried treasure. I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. But once it's dug up, hopefully having the white Pikmin presence will make this a speedy quick delivery to the origin area. We don't actually need anything besides these two items. So they can speed along and the enemies will only go after captains. So you're good to go in that direction. There it is, treasure number two. Beautiful. The exhausted super stick. Story of my life, okay. And one last responsibility for the white Pikmin here. Take out this poison spout and get the heck out of here. Moving along, let's do it. Okay, floor number two. Making good progress. This one is, uh, this one is trouble. Um, why? Well, as you can see, there are three Dirigibugs, which are always going to be obnoxious. And the game doesn't really fight fair here. Um, I'm going to just prim primarily just try to use my purples here carefully. You're going to be fighting in an area that is um, very easy to throw your Pikmin over the edge. Stop it. Stop it. You don't want your Pikmin to get involved with any of those bomb rocks. Purples are obviously good killers of anything. Step away from the bomb rock and the dredge bug. Make sure you're trying to fight these things in fair quarters for you. Nope. We're going to back away. Stop. And not get our purples killed. But yeah, if you attack their... I think it's the balloons, maybe? That, uh... That should be enough to knock them out. You gotta be very mindful of these areas because the game is a jerk and will sometimes try to throw nectar, what appears to be a nectar egg at you, and then it's actually a hidden bomb rock. For the first time in the game, they are starting to hide things in the, um, they're not hide, they're starting to, why did I say hide? They are putting these bomb rocks above ground at you to like, I don't know if it's like to attract you to do it, but uh, I would avoid those. They're not really good to... I can't reach the... There you go. Yeah, just see how fast your purples will dogpile on basically everything. I don't think you can use the... Um, I don't think you can use the bomb rocks to your advantage, but maybe you can. Okay, that looks like that bomb rock is far enough away not to hurt me. Yeah, you just gotta take these things out. You gotta just do... Be patient. We're not trying to speed run this, but there we go. There's an example of a bomb rock. No, stay, stay. Get away, get away, get away. Yeah, you gotta be. Oof. That got a little hairy. All right. Um, I think that's all the enemies on the floor. I saw one of the, oh, the two treasures are back to back. So actually, you know what? Before I get too crazy, do a quick, yes. Do a quick little loop of any treasure, because this is gonna be the theme of the rest of this dungeon. I'm not joking. Like. The entire dungeon, they will throw pretty much a, um, they will throw pretty much a bomb rock at 
every possible opportunity. And you will very easily lose your squad that way. So if you haven't played this before, I don't blame you, but um, just be careful and, you know, mindful of the fact that you gotta keep your squad intact. You're definitely gonna wanna be as careful as you can going through this dungeon, especially with your purple Pikmin. You're gonna want those for the finale, just trust me. All right, the network main brain. I don't know if that's a capacitor or a resistor. I'm not really, I'm not an electrical engineer, so I couldn't tell you what it was. But that's two razors back to back. Okay, that is the spirit flogger. I don't know what that means. I think the theme of this um, dungeon is like everything is kind of related to like parts of a, a GameCube or something like that. Who knows? Well, probably not the rotary phone, but anyway, moving on. Okay, floor number three. The hits just keep on coming. As you can see, first off, we've got two cannon larva beetles. Let's see if we can get one to blast his brother here. This would be really helpful. Yes! Oh, we didn't kill him. All right, one more time, come on. We gotta get one to turn back or we just try to punch it to death. All right, that works, beautiful. And it looked like there was a treasure in the one that's alive. So, oh, there's white flower buds in here. That's kind of strange. All right. Um, there's not really a, this is why this area sucks and why I hate it. There's not really a ton of room to operate and you have to be careful because you don't want to throw your Pikmin into the abyss. All right, so being mindful of the, where's the, where's the beetle at? Way to beetle that. All right, and before, before I do anything, of course, quick loop around. We'll use the white Pikmin for this. They all, they always do a really good job of carrying stuff. So we got one, one plus, it's very good. All right, and then El Presidente and the purple squad. Kind of fits that the purples are the ones that he takes because I can't do not say for everybody to join in. Follow directions. Okay, the coiled launcher. I'm not sure if that's like rusty or dirty, whatever it is, but I just want purples. We're just trying to take out the, the stupid extra beetle. Where did he go? There you are, you little jerk. All right, you gotta watch out for the, um... oh boy, watch out, watch out, watch out. And then we just nuke him. Yes. Okay. Simple as that. Watch out for the fire spouts. Ooh, man, this cave. You just gotta be slow and steady wins the race. Okay. And let's see. I don't. I think I did the loop on here, but I just wanna be careful. Yes. All right, white Pikmin, do your do your thing. All the all of the um, treasures so far have been relatively close to the radar. I respect that. All right, let's see if there's anything. There's a white flower bud if you need it. I don't intend to make more white Pikmin. I don't think that the rest of the game is kind of predicated on that. I have 50 of them. The Omega Flywheel. You don't get any more if you do... Uh, you don't really get more like benefit from having more of them, I guess I should say. That was really tough for my brain to wrap its head around. For my brain to wrap its head around. Viewers, are we listening to the things I'm saying? Because I'm not. Okay, there we go. One more cannon beetle. We need the perp squad one last time. Come with me. Hello. Are you... What are we doing here? <laughs> That's a little embarrassing. Okay. They're like, we only want to work for the president. He has the same body type that we do. All right, whatever. All right, that's a full squad. My, okay, this is the wrong way to go. Full squad, wrong way to go. They're like, see, we trusted you and you led us the wrong direction. I'm sorry, okay, I'm drawing. I wanna sneak up on it. Can I sneak up on it? I feel like I can't. I don't really want those yellows getting in the way. We're doing fine though, this is, this is good progress. All right, let's get one in the hole. Let it fire its rock first. Okay, good. Stun it. Number one stunner. Okay. 
There we go. And I think a couple purples will be able to manage that. Yep, not too bad. Okay, you know what? You can carry the corpse back as a reward, as a treat, just for you guys. Make sure you don't carry it over the fire spout, which for some reason I feel like they're going to. Oh, this is painfully slow. Oh, President, help me. Mr. President, what have you done for me lately? All right, let's get some whites in there. Yes, let's go. I don't know what the ratio of white to other color Pikmin has to be for this to, to work out, but look at that. Like, it's just night and day. They're just such good little workers. Good job, guys. Okay, game apparently is not a fan of this texture. This super strong stabilizer. Man, we were gonna be pretty screwed in this level, but not anymore. All right, where the heck is the exit? It is over there. I guess I'm taking the uh, scenic route to get to it. Is it over here? Yes. Oh, you beautiful shimmery butthole. Moving on. All right, everybody, we're just a little bit under halfway there. Let's get some uh, some work done. The game is already kind of giving you a hint here as to what's good to do. Your white Pikmin are going to be your buddies in this one. Um, if you need... Oh, sorry, this is... Uh, I'm going to head of myself. But, um, yeah, you're going to want to use your white Pikmin going forward. If you have the need for white Pikmin, here's, you know... Plenty to get. Um, other than that, it's just a normal rest floor, not anything out of the ordinary, but white Pikmin I would recommend. I mean, obviously for their poison capabilities, but for their ability to outrun stuff. So let's go ahead and just move along. Okay, we are officially over the halfway point. There are nine floors, so good math. All right, so take all your Pikmin, spread them out and grab your white Pikmin. Only your white Pikmin. That's all you're gonna want. Give them a second, and then go ahead and encounter and engage the fiery explosive dweevils. There's a bunch in here. They're gonna drop from the ceiling. They're going to just be a hindrance. There's another one. So this is what I recommend. Going through with one of your captains and just light them up. Save yourself the hassle of accidentally having them explode on your Pikmin. That's already, what, five or so of them that we've encountered so far? Kind of a nasty surprise, I suppose, if you're not paying attention. But yeah, leave your Pikmin... ...away from the dangers. But bringing your white Pikmin is going to be the recipe for success for two reasons. One, they are fast at dodging things. And two carrying items they'll be able to do it in the quickest fashion so if you do encounter an enemy they will be the ones oops they'll be the ones to get you out of danger i love their speedy quick little feet white pikmin are such a great addition to this game we've got some treasure to get and we have to do so very carefully there's probably still some more bomb rocks and dweevils there's another bomb rock there's another Dweevil. Good. Punch it and then run. Punch and run. One of my favorite things to do. The old hit and run. Oops. One of my white Pikmin tried to get a little feisty there. All right, so let's have them dig it up. And then we're only going to give, as you saw, I think it said six. So we'll give them... We'll give them nothing because I want my Pikmin to run. Stop it. Stop it. Don't get distracted. Focus now. Yeah, this is, this, this game, this is nasty. Also, apparently it says that the purple Pikmin are trying to follow along El Presidente here. Let's do a quick loop around. All right, looks like it's good. Have your white Pikmin dig up the secondary treasure here. I think it's just the two. But I'm going to follow them along just in case the game trying to play a fast one on you. They should be far enough away to be safe, yes. Okay, so far so good. 
I'm gonna pop down here with the captain and I'm gonna switch to Olimar very quickly just to make sure that there's nothing fishy going on here. White Pikmin are almost up the ramp with both of those delicious treasures. I think that's all there is on this floor. Which makes it pretty easy as long as you got your White Pikmin. And we're almost batting a thousand years, so we're doing really well. These purple Pikmin are so sad. But we just want to help him. You've got plenty of a job to do. Don't worry. Aw, oh, nuts. It's the Adamantine Girdle. Okay. Very good. And the last shiny treasure of this floor is the mystical disc. I love a nice big mystical disc. And that's it. Let's get going. Okay, viewers. The two thirds mark. I don't know why I keep saying this after every floor, like the math is obviously the way. It obviously is the way that it is. Okay, so first things first, as you can see, we've got a couple of anode beetles, which, as we remember, they just need to be bonked one time, and then we can swarm them, being very careful with our yellows not to launch them over the edge into oblivion. We don't want to do that. And there are two more here. As long as you have it so the way there's only one, you can't complete its circuit and it doesn't have any friends. Just like me. All right, here we go. Very good. Um, looks like we've got some poison over here. So we'll take the poison and we'll dispatch it with our... Ooh, you see this? Actually, you know what? This, my friends, is a thieving... Uh, it's a thieving dweevil. It's dweevil. And uh, sometimes... Please do it. After they shoot their poison, sometimes they just kind of... Uh, lose all hope for life. Don't you, don't you do it. No, do, don't, do not. This treasure in particular is a little bit too big for it. But uh, sometimes if they pick a smaller treasure, they will uh, just launch themselves over the edge and kill themselves, which is really situationally very funny. Okay, so with our white Pikmin, with our white Pikmin, we have a lot of poison in here to clear up. So realistically speaking, um, it's probably best to do it that way just because... There's a ton of it. Normally I wouldn't bother just because you can just use your white Pikmin around it, but I don't know if we're gonna have enough here in this specific spot. Well, we would if you didn't do it this way, you ding-dongs. Please focus on the prize at hand. There we go. Okay, now we can safely bring other Pikmin varieties into the fold here, because without them we would be screwed. Are you kidding me? Game, why are you the way that you are? Okay, so far so good. This is the Far Eastern Electric. Does that say six nip? How many nips do you have? I got six nips. All right, here we go. Classic six nip. What was your nickname in high school? Oh, six nip. Oh, there was a, there was a purple in there. You ding dongs. All right, anyway, I'm going to park Olimar at the exit because I don't really need both captains to get the rest of this accomplished It's one more treasure down There's some weevils here that I might fight just to make it easy on myself Okay, the repair juggernaut Okay, and that and no 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 stop Actually, you know what this guy does have a friend and they say he's just a friend. Okay, so R.I.P. Um, we're gonna hopefully land on the anode beetle. Hopefully land on the anode beetle. There you go. Now you guys can unleash your rage. Okay. And then I think that's it in terms of uh, we have two of the dirige, dirige beetles, which I really hate. And we have a thieving a thieving dweevil. We got a, th a thweevil over here. Let's kill the fire dweevil real quick. We use the president to do this, and we are immune to fire. Hopefully it'll kill it with the bomb rock. That is very handy. Thank you for killing your friends. Thank you for killing your friends. All right, so we have the thieving dweevil. Hopefully this bomb rock will kill it. Very good. 
And I might actually be able to sneak in here with whites and just steal that. Instead of having to actually fight any of them. Because my white Pikmin are so speedy quick. It's, it doesn't look like it's an item that has a ton of weight to it. So if I can just get the whites in there. Oh boy. Nope. Alright, let's back off. The, let's back this squad up real quick. To a safe haven over here. I say that when there's tons of poison. To this safe area with tons of poison. Alright. Just whites real quick. That's all that I want. And we are gonna just... We're just gonna pull a little sneaky on him. Hopefully. If I can get him to go away. Alright, get distracted. Come on, quickly. Nope. Well, regroup, regroup, regroup. Oh, dang it. Ugh. Gotta have one launched and ready to go. Alright, here we go. Let's go. No, that's not gonna do it. 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 Out of the way. No. 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 Stop. Ooh, this is trickier than I thought. This is probably not the intended way that the game wanted you to do this. Alright, how about we just swarm it? Go. Okay, go. Run. Alright, this is probably faster. Why were they trying to throw him? Ugh, I'm dumb. But we're doing really well, so I'm not upset. I'm not upset. Okay, the Space Wave Receiver. It looks like a uh, channel for an old TV set. All right, and we can switch over to Olimar and get the heck out of here. We're doing awesome. Okay, everybody. We have one more danger floor left besides the boss. Can we do it? Of course we can. Of course we can. All right. Let's loop around here. Let's do the... Uh, the old scan, scan and fan for uh, any sort of bomb rocks here. You know they love to put them by nectar eggs. Don't really care about nectar at this point. There is a recovery floor coming up that has plenty, so you don't really have to worry about that. Let's go ahead and bring the squad with us. Okay, so here we go. I can already hear it. There is a new enemy that's really obnoxious. You can't really get it. And he's going to be trying to shoot us from a distance. So, you got to be fast here, Nimble Bimble. That's a good way to do it. What we'll is petrify him. I think I'm attacking it from the wrong side. This, my friends, is the Gloink. I believe that's what it's called. Some more purples while I can. Toss it at it. It should go down pretty easily. And it's full of a treasure. Who would have thought? It's a very weird new enemy. I remember that one very fondly for some reason. Also because its name is Gloink. Who doesn't love that name? Wait. Is it regenerating health? Oh, he's got a friend. And they say he's just a friend. Oh. Oh, it is regenerating health. I don't like that. I thought I killed it. The preceding person system. Indomitable CPU. Alright. I don't like that, actually. I thought these things... Yeah. Um... Is it still alive? Is it not alive? Uh, can we hurry and carry this back? Because I don't trust the game to not have this thing regenerate and then murder the crap out of me. Let's go, White Pikmin. Let's, uh... Hurry and take this back before it somehow regenerates. What a strange enemy. Oh my goodness. I did not know that was a thing. Alright, so as you saw, maybe you saw it. There's another one. So let's go ahead and get the purple squad going again. Just purples. I mean, I would accept a red in there too, but... Alright, where are you? I saw you, you little, you little b-hole. We have another Dirigibug to dispatch here in a second. Or attempt to dispatch without hopefully launching my Pikmin over the edge. Uh, I'm not super concerned about it. I just want to get the treasures. I can completely ignore any of those baddies as long as it's... 
not gonna cause me any issue. Was the was there not another? Did I kill it? All right, now I'm super weirded out. I do not know what's happening right now, but I do know that I just want my white Pikmin. There's a lot to carry, and white Pikmin, of course, are the soup du jour when it comes to carrying things. Don't eat your Pikmin, ladies and gentlemen. It's rude. How many Pikmin do I have on my squad? I know that I'm missing. But first, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm on to your tricks, game. Thought you would have tried to drop a bomb rock on me like a bunch of turd burglars. All right, here we go. We're gonna probably have to be careful because that um, that dirigibug bug probably will be coming after us. All right, I've got nine. This looks like a bomb rock area, huh? No? Man, I gotta I gotta be quick though. Oh, that needs twenty. Yeah. Where's the purple when you need it? All right, I'm gonna follow these guys back. Just to make sure that the dirigibug bug does not harass them. Just carry it away from him. There you go. That's using your noggins. Your little Pikmin noggins. Okay, so... Obviously... I actually technically only... Well, I need two of them now. But because the majority of the Pikmin are white, maybe it'll be fast? Ooh, there's a Dweeble. Hold on. Get out of here. Run, everybody. Oh, no. Ooh, this is gonna be bad. We'll handle this in a moment. But first, our sponsors, the Furious Adhesive. All right, everybody run. Everybody run. No, oh, you dummy. <sighs> Wait, where's the rest of the whites? Okay, whatever. Let's just get it going. We've suffered too much. Stop attacking this. Oh, Pikmin. Don't get too upset about purples, though. We will have a chance to rectify that in a moment. But this is going to take me a hot minute. Without these guys. So let's go ahead and nab the uh, whites again. As my buttons on my controller continue to fail. Here we go. Beautiful. I'm just going to warn you in advance. Um, you're just going to want to have a lot of purple Pikmin going forward for the rest of the game. So if you lose some in this dungeon, you know, don't fret too much. You'll, you will have the chance to resupply. And I'm actually going to show you how. Where's the exit? I bet it's the complete other way, isn't it? That's okay. We saved the captain just for this. Where is it? Uh, there it is. Everything is fine. Everything is beautiful. Yes. Twist to open. Treetop. Thirst act. I don't know what that is. That was worth a lot, though. 300. Wow. Okay. Whew. We can now move on to the final. I said there was only one. I lied. There's two rest floors. We're going to move on to the final rest floor. Collect ourselves before the boss. Here we go. Okay, everybody, let's take a deep breath and get ready to do the, the final preparations. All right, so there's candy pop buds here. We have, we don't really need to do that. I lost, of course, the only kinds I lose are the ones that are the most valuable. Um, we're gonna make some purples here. Let's go ahead and use our reds to do so. And we'll not use all of our reds because we wanna make sure that, no, I said, stop it. And you don't have to worry about, there's no surprises here. There's no, um, no tricks. But this is the best place to get purples in the game. And that goes for the rest of the game too. I kind of teased that a little bit. You're gonna need 100 purples to finish this game. 100 purples, that's correct. So, if that is the case, coming here, there will always be the three purple candy pop buds. Um, and you just have to remember that some some dungeons will have a candy pop bud. Ooh, this this floor is this is chugging. Um, some dungeons will have candy pop buds, but it's only if 
when I'm referring to the ivory ones, of course, um, it really depends on your Pikmin makeup. If you have more than 20 purples, most of the time they won't have anything for you. This one always will. So if you need more purples, which we will, because we only will be leaving this dungeon with somewhere in like the high 50 range. Uh, we need more than that. We need a hundo. So go ahead and get your final batch of purples. And once you've got all your purples collected and grown, come to an open part of the floor and switch to just purples and grab only your purples. At least the ones that are leaves. And make sure that every single purple in your squad that is not a flower is 100% flowered. You will have to trust me on this one. You'll want to have all of your purples be flowered. There's plenty of nectar to do so. Go ahead and do it. Make sure they're all flowered. That should be good. The rest of your pigment don't matter as much. Oops, I apparently forgot to pick some of the purples out of the ground. That's the first time we've actually seen that, and it is kind of convenient that the game tells you. Oh man, I missed an entire batch of purples. Look at that, that would have been real stupid. Oops. This nectar is for you guys, I'm sorry. No purples left behind. Okay. Get yourselves all in it. And I think I need one more egg, which is right here. Would have been really nice if the game would have decided to be kind and, uh... Hit me up with a spray or something, but no. Why would it? Okay, that's it. Okay, viewers, it is now time to take on the ultimate enemy of the subterranean complex. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, everybody, here it is. The ultimate challenge, the climax of the subterranean complex. Hopefully you guys are ready. Before we do anything here, before we approach the boss, we are going to uh, do a little sightseeing. You have to trust me on this one. There's a little hidden area right here, sort of, um, that is, I guess you could say, safe initially. This wall right here. You're going to want to uh, separate your Pikmin into two sets. Purple. and yellow. So keep the yellow and purple squad. I mean, your yellow squad is the one that's going to be your backup squad. Trust me on that one. And then your purple squad's going to be your main fighters. And uh, keep everybody just kind of on the fringe here. Maybe move them a little bit behind the wall. You don't want to get attacked. And this is, um, oddly enough, this is our boss. So this kitchen stove is what we're going to be fighting. So first things first, let's get uh, right up on it. Spray our Pikmin and uh, dunk on it. Here we go. Let's see how we can get as much damage as possible in the first round. Not too bad. All right. And then we're going to move. Run, 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 run. Whoa. Yes, this thing fires rockets at you. It's a huge mess. And then when you are done being fired at, get your yellows going and then have your yellows attack it. It's going to open up and start targeting you. Move again. Behind the wall. That's the safe spot. Okay. And then it's going to get tired. Get your yellows again. Move again. It really helps if you use your... Uh, it really helps if you um, hide behind the wall. The Great Wall of Not Being Exploded. All right, here we go. Get your yellows again. We're almost done. And that's it. A flawless fight. So you can start out with your purples, your yellows, or your backup squad, and receive the final treasure. That mechanized monstrosity is no longer functional. An insect and a machine forming a symbiotic relationship. So yes, that... For some reason, it was a giant spider with a machine gun on its back. Yeah, that's crazy. That's a pretty pretty wild fight. But uh, yeah, here's our reward. Have you seen the light viewers? Go ahead and ferry it on back to the... 
radar and we're just about ready to get the heck out of here. That's all it takes. I kind of oversold that fight. It's fine. It's fun though. It's a little tricky. Using that wall is definitely a way to safely approach it. The stellar orb. Orb. You're stellar viewers. Combining this glass sphere with the synthetic, synthetic sun will uh, give us the solar system. This will brighten underground areas. So there you go. This system makes splunking a little bit easier. Which, as you can see, has already happened. Ooh, it's almost like it just like the game increases the gamma. I think I kind of wasted that that second spray, but that's fine. We'll get more sprays. But for now, we're out of here. We only lost two Pikmin. That's amazing. You're amazing. Let's wrap up. And let's see how many treasures we got. There's a lot in there. 16, the most treasures to date. That's a cave complete. Only lost six Pikmin total. Wonderfully done. And back to the Valley of Repose we go one last time. We've done it as we are forcibly ejected into the ground. That's actually like, it's funny because that was, you know, the start of the day and there really isn't anything left for us to do. That cave is kind of the last thing and there isn't really any good way to get any sprays or anything like that. So I'm actually just gonna go ahead and make this the uh, end of the episode. Let's go ahead and go to sunset. Well done, viewers. Excellent work. Probably our our best attempt at a cave so far, which is funny given how poorly I've been doing prior to that, and to the, literally to the mission that I just did and how bad that was. Okay. Lost some reds, lost a little bit of everything, but we gained a lot of purples, which is very good, and I'll be coming back here off screen a handful of times prior to the next episode to build up my purples and prepare for the final location. Let's see what the uh, mail is for the day. Spam. I am so lonely. I want a friend that'll listen to my troubles. I want to meet someone like you. Contact me at Pikmin.com. I don't even know if that's a real thing. Don't open your spam. It's bad for you. Okay, well that's it. That's a, that's a wrap on today's episode. And that's a... F a final completion of the Valley of Repose. Great work, everybody. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D Mike. If you enjoyed this episode and only losing two Pikmin in a very hard cave, liking, commenting, and subscribing is a great way to show your support. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.